Ghana, a megaforce in Africa and the world. Ghana is one of the leading nations in Africa when it comes to infrastructure, healthcare, life expectancy, and much more. Ghana has a number of ongoing projects in various sectors, such as infrastructure, energy, and healthcare. Some examples include the construction of new highways, the expansion of the country's power generation capacity, and the development of new hospitals and clinics. Additionally, the government of Ghana has announced plans to invest in new technology and innovation in order to drive economic growth and improve the standard of living for its citizens. These are some of the things that other Africans and government need to emulate and copy from. Hello viewers, welcome back. Stay with us to find out some of the amazing projects in Ghana that every African country should learn from. Please tell us in the comment section which project your country need to copy from Ghana. And if you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe. 10. The E-Transform Ghana Project The E-Transform Ghana Project, which aims to increase access to ICT and improve the country's digital infrastructure. The goal of the electronic transformation intervention is to alter how government employees deliver services. It will use information technologies, including wireless area networks, the internet, and mobile computing to alter the way that many government agencies, particularly those in the health, education, and justice sectors, provide services. The World Bank and the Ghanaian Ministry of Communications are collaborating on the project, with the World Bank covering the entire $97 million cost. 9. Kone Thermal Plant Kone Thermal Power Station is a 230-megawatt gas-fired thermal power station in Ghana. The Kone Thermal Plant Project aims to increase Ghana's power generation capacity to meet the growing demand for electricity in the country. The power plant is situated in the Kone suburb of Tema, the port city, which is about 31 kilometers east of Accra, the country's capital and largest city, and will be fueled by natural gas. The cost of construction is around 900 million US dollars, which was borrowed from the Africa Finance Corporation, NFC. Sumitomo Corporation and FMO are two other investors and equity partners. 8. Pualugu Multipurpose Dam The Pualugu Multipurpose Dam is a planned dam in Ghana across the White Volta River. The project, estimated to cost 993 million US dollars, is the single largest investment ever made in Ghana's northern region. The Pualugu Dam project aims to provide irrigation for farming and generate electricity in the upper east region of Ghana. The project will also help to prevent flooding during the rainy season and provide water for domestic use. 7. Marine Drive Project The construction of the Marine Drive Project, a seaside development in Accra that will include a beach park, promenade, and other amenities. The Marine Drive Project aims to provide Accra residents and visitors with a new recreational destination, while also stimulating economic growth and development in the area. The development will include a beach park, promenade, and other amenities, such as restaurants and shops. The World Bank is funding the $1.2 billion project. 6. The Sinohydro Deal the Sino Hydro deal, which includes the construction of hydroelectric power plants and the buoy dam to increase Ghana's energy generation capacity. The Sino Hydro deal is a partnership between the government of Ghana and the Chinese state-owned company Sino Hydro Corporation to develop hydroelectric power in Ghana. The deal includes the construction of hydroelectric power plants and the buoy dam to increase Ghana's energy generation capacity and reduce the country's dependence on fossil fuels. The project is expected to cost $2 billion and is part of a $19 billion loan facility provided by the Chinese. 5. The Expansion and Rehabilitation of the Tema Port the expansion and rehabilitation of the Tema port to increase its capacity and efficiency. The Tema port is one of the busiest ports in West Africa and serves as a major gateway for trade and commerce in the region. 
The expansion and rehabilitation project will increase the port's capacity and efficiency, making it more competitive and able to handle larger vessels. The Tama port is being expanded with the collaboration of Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority and Meridian Port Services, with the first phase costing $1.5 billion. 4. Ghana National Housing and Mortgage Finance Project the construction of affordable housing units under the Ghana National Housing and Mortgage Finance Project. The project aims to address the housing deficit in the country by providing affordable housing units to low-income families. The housing units will be built to a high standard and will be financed through a mortgage scheme, making them accessible to a wide range of people. This project will cost approximately $7 million. 3. The Western Rail Line The development of the Western Rail Line, which will connect Sakandi Takaredi to the rest of the country's rail network. The Western Rail Line will connect Ghana's western region to the rest of the country, providing an efficient and cost-effective means of transporting goods and people. This will help to increase economic activity in the region and reduce the dependence on road transport, which is often hindered by poor road conditions. New Terminal at the Kotoka International Airport in Accra The construction of a new terminal at the Kotoka International Airport in Accra is another project worth emulating. The new terminal will be built to modern international standards and will have the capacity to handle more passengers and flights. The goal of this project is to improve the country's air connectivity, increase tourism, and boost economic growth. Construction on a new $274 million Terminal 3 began on March 1, 2016, with a capacity of 5 million passengers per year and an expansion capacity of up to 6.5 million. 1. The One District, One Factory Initiative The One District, One Factory Initiative, which aims to establish a factory in each of Ghana's districts, to promote industrialization and job creation is a project that all African countries need to copy. The goal of this initiative is to create sustainable economic growth and development in each district by providing local communities with access to manufacturing and production opportunities. The factories will be focused on processing and adding value to locally available raw materials, creating jobs and reducing the country's dependence on imports. Ghana has a number of ongoing projects in a variety of sectors, including infrastructure, energy, and healthcare. These initiatives seek to improve the country's infrastructure, generate more power, and enhance healthcare services, as well as providing jobs. Other African countries must learn from Ghana in order to make Africa a great and developed continent. Thank you for sticking with me until the end. Please help our channel grow by liking and subscribing to our channel.